Previously on Baker Madness. Just in the nick of time. Oh. oh. Well, uh, I guess that's the end. Uh, uh, we'll see you next time, or. No, I don't know, maybe not. Come on, Hawks. I'm never gonna miss the place. Oh no, the cake! Hans! Hurry! Hans! Oh. Dodge that bullet, didn't we, Hans? <laughs> Hans? Hans? Oh, Hans! <laughs> well, yes, we did make it out, thank goodness. <sighs> no, no, I wouldn't say they were first class accommodations, Heather. Oh, they did. And did they put a chocolate on your pillow, too? Look, what I want you to do is get a GPS lock on our triangulation and get. I'll call you back. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Baker Madness, the wilderness episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our Baker Madness corny cornbread. It's time for Yeehaw! <laughs> they were doing the corny style, so here's all y'all's gonna need for the corniest cornbread ever. <laughs> and now here's Hans and special guest, Betty Cracker. Yeehaw! So let's get started. Preheat your right. oven to 450 degrees. To a cast iron skillet, add one quarter cup of vegetable oil and place in your preheated oven. We'll add all of our dry ingredients together. Start with two cups of cornmeal. Delicious. Then add a half a cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, add one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a tablespoon of baking powder. Hans, how gentlemanly, letting the lady go, oh, Hans. Now whisk together, but not too much. Now you want to make a well right in the middle. Look how cute, oh. Add two cups of buttermilk, two eggs lightly beaten, and two tablespoons of melted butter. Now mix the dry and wet ingredients together, just until combined. Keep in mind that while you've been mixing, your oil has been heating in the oven. Oil can catch fire. Baker Madness and our affiliates will assume no responsibility should your campsite, or you know, house, burst into flame. Please, exercise extreme caution. Hans, you are very helpful, aren't you? Why don't you get the corn? You can use fresh, thawed, or <clears throat> canned. Okay, go ahead, Hans. We're waiting, lover boy. Hans! Good job. Now fold that together. Using hot pads, remove the pan and oil from the oven and place it on a level, heat-resistant surface. Add the corn batter and return it to the oven for 18 to 28 minutes. While we wait, why don't you take a look at this? Hi, Chris. Thanks for your good help. Ghost riders in the sky. Smokey's everywhere, Chris, reminding us to guard against fire. Smokey the bear, Smokey the bear, growling and a growling and a sniffing the air. He can find the fire before it starts to flame. That's why they call him Smokey, that was how he got his name. What'd you think of that, Hans? We sure are glad that Betty Cracker was able to stop by, huh? <laughs> and thanks for everything, Betty. Oh, what a gal. 
So there you have it, folks. Baker Madness Corny Cornbread. Delicious and even a little nutritious. Now, cornbread goes great with just a schmear of butter and maybe just some sprinkled salt, but it really starts to shine when you pair it up with baked beans or collard greens or go for gravy or maybe some, uh, you know, roadkill stew. <laughs> Delicious. And it smells great. Well, I bet you can smell that from a mile away. Wow. Oh. Well, we've put out our fire, we've cleaned up our camp, and we've slain a bear. Heather's just arrived at the BM-1 helicopter. Oh, <laughs> so it looks like we've been saved. <laughs> well, we got away, and would you look at that? That bear is playing possum. <laughs> well, at least he's got a nice mouthful of cornbread. <laughs> Smoky mayor, my. Tune in next time, all you bakers and bakerettes out there, to BakerMadness.com, where insanity is just a matter of taste. <laughs>